Welcome back, everybody, to From the Depths, episode number 15, I believe it is. And today, we're going to get some payback. That's right. And we have a new member to the family called the Terminados. That's right, he's going to be our long-range super sniper, explosive round shooter killer uh, monster. <laughs> That's what he's going to be. He's going to be this crazy guy. He's, uh, I have this guy set up right here to go ahead... And uh, let's get to the, uh, to the little details here, as we usually do. He's going to be shooting at 750, so our hurricane's shooting at, what is it, 600. The midnight shooting at 650. He's going to be shooting at 751. Uh, made his barrel super long. He's super accurate. He's like crazy, crazy sauce accurate. And then um, his minimum range is going to be 500. So he's going to be like, I'm basically going to have a staggered line of ships. I'm going to have like hurricanes close up. And you'll see what I did with them later. <laughs> so hurricanes... Midnight's in the middle, and then Terminados in the back, just shooting super far and just destroying everything with explosions. And, uh, yeah, and the broadside is, is way farther, and, yeah, all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just 50 off, and then 100 off of the minimum. That's how I did all of them, but at their own ranges. So, yeah, so this is going to be freaking awesome. Uh, this guy shoots like a, like a house, shoots like a house, falls like a house, something like that. And then uh, here's the little upgrade I did to our Hurricane. He is going to be our tank. He's going to be the guy going into the front lines and smashing it up real good. I gave him a shield. And luckily with the engine setup that we have here, uh, you see the power down there. He's not actually burning too much power and I have the shield at 100% like maximum power. Let me show you uh, what I did here exactly. Where the heck this shield is coming from? Whoops. I don't want you. I want you. How do I do this? Get me in here. There we go. So let me press P and pull it apart. Maybe P stands for pull it apart. I don't know. But see, I went ahead and put a shield generator right, right in the, right in the, in the little nook here. And uh, and the way you get to that, you go to miscellaneous, I think, shield projector right there. That's what you do. Yeah. So you just kind of pop one of those things in there. Let me show you what I did with it. Uh, I made the strength ten because that's the only way to have it. Maximum strength shields. Uh, had to have it to reflect. Uh, and I made the height. I made it pretty darn high. A little bit wide. And the cool thing with this, and the angle 45 degrees, just because, like, that actually does help uh, repel shots. It's very handy stuff. It's very good. I tested it out. Trust me. I'm a professional. Not. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like, as this thing rotates and shoots, this little uh, doohickey is actually attached to the turret, and it'll rotate and defend the gun. So it won't get blown to pieces, like, uh, <laughs> like that last assault that we were doing. So he's going to be our tank. The Hurricanes are the tanks. The, uh, the Midnights are the DPS, mid-range DPS. More DPS, more dots. And this is going to be our long-range explosive just demolisher. Um, real quick what I did with this guy's cannon. I know there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of little changes here. A lot of little changes? Yeah, something like that. I went ahead and put on uh, six gauge increases on this guy. <laughs> and, uh, and the reason why he's shielded with, a, with planks of wood is because I ran out of metal to make this model efficiently. Because we have so many, uh, we have about like 13 explosive round um, uh, boxes in here too. And then, um, yeah, and then the damage of this guy is just like crazy. It's like kinetic damage 885, explosive damage 240, shooting fast, uh... Yeah, recoil isn't too bad. I had to add like another recoil absor absorber and all that kind of good stuff. So it's crazy. So let's go ahead and just like throw something in here. Let's get like an impaler. I don't know, like a moth, and like a, I don't know, spiral. Let's get some guys in here. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, this may be uh, ah, they smashed up, suckers. Oh look, see the Terminados is already shooting. He's just like oh, and the missiles are going too. Sweet. Oh, and now he's going. Oh, I have him actually patrolling. Go ahead and get in the combat, you silly fools. Come on now, come on, uh-oh. See, so it looks like already the Hurricane is doing his job. Uh, his job of taking the hits. And I tell you what, this this shield right here, it oh, hey, hey, hey. Well, in, real, in the game, that's not going to happen because he's going to be way back, hopefully. Oh, and some dude's already exploding, that's cool. But yeah, so he's going to be charging in. This stuff, you guys will see when we assault that uh, that base. I have a feeling a lot of stuff's going to be repulsed, uh, repulsed, repelled off that. So, yeah, so these guys are done. Thoroughly done, smashed up. Oh my gosh. Forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah. See you later, sucker. All right. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's build these guys in the campaign. Oh, and I just died. Well, that's okay, because it's just fake here. All right, so what do we have around here these days? We still got this silly little, well not really silly, we got this little missile launcher still just hanging out here. I tell you, I love this thing. It did us some good back in the day. But now I think we are evolving beyond 
the use of little little missile launchers like this, we have our own mobile fortresses moving about. So I think I want to get rid of one of these buzzards. They're kind of like, you know, meh, they're kind of like a waste of resources, honestly. <laughs> uh, I'd rather spend the resources on some like cool ships, but the next project we do is definitely going to be uh, an awesome flyer that drops bombs. We will definitely be getting around to doing that because it's been, it's been on my brain for a good while now. Uh, Alright, so before we build something, before we build one of our new ships, let's go ahead and disassemble a few of the old ones. Uh, particularly all the old hurricanes, they still have the old body style and the old, uh, like, no shield business, where they just kind of, they will just blow up and stuff. And cost us resources, because all the damage they take from combat, it's going to be like, you know, it's going to be costing us money, and we got money for that kind of crap, so. Got to go ahead and get rid of these inefficient, uh, dudes. Here we go. Good for you. Uh, I, 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 I shed no tears. I shed no tears, because you guys are going to be reborn into something better. Ah, the ship's being built. In flashy time. Here we go, our first Terminatus sailing out and about. I got these guys on a little patrol run out here as I'm remaking them. I'm just telling them to go, like, get lost. Like, burp, burp. And then once they kind of swing around here, then I'll go ahead and tell them to dock. Let's might as well start with this hurricane here. Guess I'll tell this, uh, tell them to dock right about here. This is like the hurricane area. Uh, let's see, hurricane. Bop, bop. Very nice. And no smashing. Perfect. And this could be like Midnight Alley, so I'll go ahead and put the Midnight over here. Where are you at? There you is. It's like this vehicle on. Yeah, so I went ahead and like just like smashed up everything that we had. <laughs> even, the, even the old Midnight, just in case. I, I can't remember if I did something new with it or not. Uh, I think I did. I think I added some like wood planks somewhere. I don't know. But <laughs> things are always in progress. And uh, yeah, so I went ahead, remade everything. And we are ready for a fight. We are, uh, let's check, take a look at the map here, make sure no one's uh, attacking us. Okay, so we look down. See, now this is nice. Okay, so I'm not quite so uh, worried about the Onyx Watch anymore, because now they just have a Strength 40 fleet patrolling around. That's what that negative 1-1 one, one usually means, too. It's like, they're just, they're just kind of aimlessly flying around. And, and that's great, so that means they're not reinforcing anything to make me worry anymore. So that's good, so they could just, uh, I think we could actually take on, like, something 100 plus right now, too. With all our awesome innovations. Uh, yeah, they got the gem miner here from last time, gem miner here, gem miner here. Oh, it's great. So we got all those resources coming in, and we are going to strike here today. We'll strike here, and then we'll see if we just kind of get these territories by default. It's going to be exciting. Uh, actually, it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be like the pinnacle, and I can't wait to see what kind of resources we're going to get from, uh, from just like smashing them up real good like that. Like, uh, because the whole thing, I remember it was made of like the alloy. And I know alloy is like ridiculously like uh, ridiculously worth a lot of stuff. It's very good. So we will see. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead, finish docking these ships here, and then I'll catch you guys on the actual assault. See you soon. Okay, guys. So here's the lineup. We got three hurricanes out front. I moved our whole formation up a little, little closer, just so uh, we don't have to sail as far to get to the base. So three hurricanes. Uh, midnight in the middle. And then Terminatus that I will be sitting on during the fight in the back with the longest range. And then two planes, two buzzards in reserves starting in the air. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's get them. Oh, swiped. Okay. <laughs> hopefully we don't die. Actually, I think I might just jump off the boat and hide underwater <laughs> for this one. Uh, hopefully the, the shields work. Hopefully we charge straight ahead so all the uh, shots will get deflected off. Uh, all right, we'll see. I'm confident. We can do this. Oh crap, we're starting way back here. I guess this is like the starting spot. Looks like we can't really, uh... Okay, here we go. The assault attack is, is starting off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter where we start on the map. We start way back here. Darn it. Okay, well here we go. Let's see if our new shields can take the damage. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, looks like our missile ship already got hit. That's okay though. I'm gonna tell to keep him a little bit back here. Looks like he's the main target of these guys. Or maybe he's just getting stuck in the crossfire. I'm gonna tell him to go over this way. And then the Terminatus can go over this direction. Although he should have a high enough arc to not to not get uh not shoot anyone in the back. Okay, here we go. So let's have a look at this. We got explosive rounds coming in. Some of our barrels may be destroyed. But looks like the fortress is yeah, see look, we got some shots bouncing off. Bouncing off the front of our ships here. Cool. Very cool. Just a hail. Just an absolute, like, murderous hail of explosive rounds. Looks like they're missing us, though. Oh, they got, like, little shrapnel things. 
Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at this shot, it's just bouncing off. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. Oh yeah, is that all you got? Okay, everyone combat. Oh, looks like our planes are coming in too. Coming in hot. All right, you guys, back to, back to combat. YouTube midnight. Back to combat. Here we go. No messing around. All right, planes are coming in. They're going to get shot to pieces, but that's okay. As long as we get one cannon in there, destroying it up. Surprised their barrels are still uh, hanging in there, too. This is like, uh, it's like a war of attrition here. Okay. Oh, look at it. It's bouncing off some more. I like seeing the... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, oh, look. We're opening fire. Sweet. Yes. As our plane... Oh, look. Let's see. Let's watch this guy just die. He's just totally going to get... Maybe not. Maybe he's like the perfect distraction. Oh, man. This is cool. All right. All right. Wow. Look at all that cannon. Oh, something's exploding. Yes. Yes, we are penetrating their ammo barrels. These planes are gonna get... Oh, you know what? They're like a great distraction. Look at this. They're just like... That guy, that guy's an ace. He's a fighter ace. He's like dodging the explosive rounds like, like a boss. It's his job. Oh, he just got messed up. <laughs> uh, I don't want to take him off their bombing run, though, right now. I think this is the one good use they'll have is being a distraction. So the rest of our heavy hitters will make it in. Oh, I feel bad for you, son. feel bad for you. You just get out of here. Get out of here. Make another run. Okay, good. He's over the, the cannons here. That guy is totally messed up. He took a... But look at this. We have penetrated their lines. We got missiles coming in here. Okay, now we got the DPS. DPS dots. Oh, look at this. We are going to crash it up. <laughs> what are you doing? His guy. He's like, I'm not done yet. This is awesome. Let's go take a front row seat. Oh, we are just smashing that gun up. There's so many explosions right now. I can't even like... It's like slow motion the whole time. Yes! So we have our guns. The planes did their job of uh, distracting. We're just like unloading. We got our Terminatus shooting his explosive rounds right into the heart of their uh, <laughs> of their floaty base. Got our missiles flying up here. Oh, this is crazy sauce. This is like, oh, this is awesome. There's no chance. They stand no chance now. We've totally got them, not surrounded, but assaulted. What's the damage on these guys here? They all look pretty... <laughs> the front of this guy got a little burnt, a little burnt crisp, but we got some repair bots here, fixing it up. Doing a good job there. Look at all these armor-piercing rounds. So we got armor-piercing rounds, piercing and armoring and all that kind of exploding. And then we got our explosive rounds exploding what the armor-piercers have, have pierced. It's fantastic. <laughs> What's this? What is this? Playgrounds? Oh, it's an engine. Sweet. Let's blow it up. So it looks like they know what's up. Looks like they know where to strike. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. So how do you know when a base has been destroyed? Is there like a brain here somewhere or what? We've just totally like annihilated this. I mean, they took out one of our planes. He will be remembered. Oh, look at that shot on the engines. Those missiles just fragged everywhere. Oh, that's a huge engine. Oh my gosh. That's how you make an engine probably. That's how you do it. Although, I don't, I don't really need an engine like that. <laughs> Unless we want to go fly high. Maybe one day. Actually, probably later on, I can imagine this game. You will have to fly high into the sky. Probably into outer space with some kind of base. And you'll need an engine like that. But for now, we're, we have a good engine. It's good enough. Oh, you poor plane. You poor plane. You're just like... You're just like... Oh, You did such a good job, though. I like you. You did a good, good job. So yeah, so now it's just like mop up to, oh, oh, it's the other plane. Oh, you guys are so sad. So sad, but thank you so much. You've saved our expensive parts of our fleet, so that's good. Oh man, total carnage. Just get, I'm enjoying every second of this. <laughs> They're just like, boom, boom, boom. Terminatus way back there. See that guy back there? That's his shooting range. He's shooting way far off. That's why he doesn't need a shield or any kind of metal armoring. I put all his metal into his explosive rounds. And, a, and his weapon upgrades, so he's the uh, heavy hitter back there. Missiles flying like crazy, but we got, we got the resources for those missiles. And we are just like going to town on this place. We are just absolutely destroying it from every angle. Hua! Every angle. <laughs> oh, look at you now, huh? Look at you now, sucker. Yeah, that's right. Let's take a look at one of these uh, <laughs> vantage point from uh, one of the hurricanes here. Uh-oh. I think something's exploding. I think... I think... It's gonna pop. There he goes! Ha <laughs> ha! Pure hatred! You can't hate because you're dead, suckers. Wow, and it just disappeared like that. It was just like, poof. Look at our resources! <laughs> Look at our metal now! 55,000 metal! 
and tons of parts and uh oh my gosh our ai crystals who needs a crystal farm when you go around owning bases man that's what that's what i say crystal farms yeah <laughs> it's a good way to uh it's a good way to kill some time i guess and we got tons of natural as before but yeah we just got tons of metal from that holy smokes we took some damage though but we're getting repaired up look i can't believe this is a good job good job He's shooting missiles this whole time. Good job, DPS. Good job. I want to give everyone like a handshake here. Well, not, like a little high five. You got like smoked on the front where the shield wasn't covering. <laughs> but wherever, wherever the shield was covering, it looks like he's alright. Except for the very front nose. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so funny. Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. And let's not forget. Let's not forget uh, our, sa our sacrificed planes. <laughs> Oh, the engine's running. Rep repair bots are fixing. Let's see a few scraps here left. That was awesome. Oh, look, there's a chair. I think I'll sit in it. Okay, so I'll catch you guys once I do a little wrap-up here, once I analyze the situation a little more. I'll get back to you guys real soon. All right, so we have returned to base. <laughs> the little, little uh, smashed-up planes, little heroes are being fixed up, being repaired. He's like, oh, that feels good. That feels good. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, good, good job, good job. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. He's gonna... Oh, smart. Oh, no! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, luckily we get to reclaim. <laughs> you doof. Doof. Oh, my gosh. This guy, he's just rampaging. He's just like, I didn't kill enough. I want to go. I want to kill some more. Ah, okay. Well, luckily, all the <laughs> stuff that just smashed here, uh, I think, I think we get it back. What in the blazes? That's part of his gun. Give it back. Anyway, all right, so we've made it back. <laughs> we've, uh, we've, uh, all right, I got tons of resources. Everything's amazing. Um, and let's see here. Let's take a look at the map. So we have cleared out this spot. This, this nasty little, nasty little hole of the world. We've, we've cleaned it out. But it looks like there's still a few, uh, a few, you know, rebels here and there. Just like in the, uh, outlying territories that are in our space, uh, our rightful space, our homelands. So we're going to go ahead and just kick them out. Uh, we're going to have a small attack force, and we're just going to mop it up real quick. That's how we're going to finish this episode up. We're going to mop this up, take a look over here, see what we got around these corners. We got a new f uh, faction over here. It looks like they're, uh, they're, they're kind of friendly, suspicious, but friendly. Not so bad. We got some new neighbors around here. Uh, looks like they are a little more suspicious. These guys love us. Oh, they love us to pieces. Wow, like almost 50. Yeah, okay, so we're going to go ahead, clean this up a little bit, check out what's over here. And uh, maybe probably it's probably gonna be these guys, but it's good. We'll we'll get a feel for the world. We'll see what's going on, and uh, and who our next target may be. Uh, pretty much anyone who's going to be a threat to us, anyone who's kind of making us worry a little bit, and uh, yeah, that'll probably be our next target. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead form up the fleet. Okay, we are rolling deep <laughs> in this in the area. We are. <laughs> let me let me get up this uh it's funny this thing actually started me off on its on the gun on the actual like barrel of the gun but okay let me just chill back here all right we have one enemy in this territory here we are looking at oh it used to be nine now it's seven so i guess maybe one of them ran away so oh good we got a balloon guy versus our massive force got our planes coming in i told them to have a cruising altitude of 125 instead of 75 so hopefully they'll stop smashing into mountains this is interesting because we have like this big old rock right here, just kind of blocking line of sight. But uh, I think the Terminatus don't care none. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna just blow you up anyway. I got this nice arc right here. I'm gonna be boom. Look at that. Only two ships shooting, and he's already down. What a smash up! Oh, he's got some. Oh wait, the camera's moving around way too much. Let me jump off here. It's too crazy. Probably by the time I get the camera back here, he's gonna be dead. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we got just two ships. So the other guys decided to go about about that way. But, uh, okay, here we go. That's all right, though. I think we got enough uh, DPS here to take this guy out. And I also went ahead and told my Hurricanes to turn their shields off. So pretty much you just go to the module, press Q, and then instead of reflect, you just select none. So it goes ahead and turns it off. And he is disintegrated into tiny little pieces. Yes, that's how we like it, tiny little pieces. Yeah. Need a one least vehicle. Oh yeah, bring everyone. To heck with it. I'm not gonna arrange ev everyone. I'm just gonna like throw them in there. Let's see what happens if we just throw everyone in here instead of having like a nice tidy formation. <laughs> Probably everyone's gonna die. All right, let's see. Buzzard, buzzard. Where, where is it? A buzzard at? Where's he at? Midnight. Buzzard. Yes. Okay. Spawn in there. I don't want to crew that ship. I don't want to crew a plane. You crazy? Okay, let's do it. 
You just throw everyone in there and see how the uh, how how it looks, how the formation works. This might be a really bad idea, actually. Oh well. Oh, we got more metal back again. That's good. Forty-two thousand. Okay, so what we got here, as we mop up this place. Oh, so if that was a single barrel. I would have I would have landed on it. That was kind of cool. Make sure I don't take control of the guns. What do we have here? Ooh. That's always fun. I like never use my guns nowadays. Oh, it's another floaty, uh, I was gonna say floaty elephant guy. Nah, it's just a floaty air balloon. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue mopping up this area. Uh, I'll probably get back to you guys once we, uh, once we start getting to this area here. Once we, uh, start exposing the borders of our lands. Yay! Victory! Victory! Pipsqueak Parade! Hello! Goodbye. Yeah, so we are <laughs> moving up <laughs> through the world. Oh, look, the Terminatus is already shooting. Let's check it out. Let's see how accurate he is from like, oh my gosh, that is so crazy. What a shot. Oh my gosh, he's just blowing it up. He's so ac- oh, and here comes the hail. Here comes the hurricane. hoo -ah! Boom! Gosh, that never gets old. I could watch explosions all day long, man. I, that's like, I see explosions in my dreams nowadays since I play this game so much. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so you, you, uh, you, uh... We got some air fire. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, pure hatred. I think... Oh my gosh, who's here? Oh, they're still here! Those... Mmm, those stinkers. Alright. I think I'll cut back once we get to the 17 area. That might be a little interesting there. Yeah, just real quick. Looks like this cruising altitude of 125 is just about right here. In this, uh, in this... Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> look at that hail of fire. Oh, you... <laughs> Oh, uh, boom! Oh, you poor, poor, silly, silly little fool. <laughs> okay, all right. So we are. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, we are here at the 17 marker. So this this used to be power 17, but looks we have a, we have a level 30 right up here. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. So we will take out the 17 here. We are coming in strong. Looks like two floaty balloons. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I was gonna sit up here, have a little popcorn. I wish, you know what? I should put like a chair on top of one of these things. And just like sit like on top of a gun and be like, hey, this is awesome. I'm just like having a party up here. I'm just like scratching my head, thinking about tactics, watching the, uh, watching the ships fly and explode. I like the sound of gunfire in this game too. It's very good. It's very soothing. Very soothing for the uh, mechanical soul. It's good. It's good stuff. What we got here? We got some flyers. We got some decimation. I, I really like this Terminatus. I think I'll put my chair... I think I'll put a chair on top of it right here. This looks like a good place. A good view. Good good action view right here. Oh, look at that. Cannon fire. Oh! Get it! Oh, it's just it's just sick, man. It's just sick. It's just like... Forget, oh, it's just... Forget about it, man. You guys, you guys should have stayed home. Now that with your empire fallen... Uh, you have no reserves, you have no backup, you have no farms, no food, no women, or children probably, because you're robots. So you will just be uh, kind of blown apart, and uh, oh my gosh, the sun's like setting. The sea is getting gray, the sky is getting dark. It's not very happy times for these fellows. But, next episode, we will see their fate. We will see how much we decimate them, and if we can clear them off the map, which we will, guaranteed we will. <laughs> so we will clear them off the map, we will find a new route of, uh, of attack, uh, we will see what threats we have on the map going on here after we, uh, see, it looks like we got some neighbors over here, and looks like they like us, but we are almost at war with someone around here, I think, um, let's take a look at diplomacy, someone here we're almost at war with, who is on the brink of war, but see, we're not, we're not sharing borders with these guys, but maybe we can find them on the map, and go go pay him a visit. Maybe say hi. Ask him why they uh, why, why they don't like us or something like that. And then uh, and then we can get some you know some details as as what their boggle is. That'd be good. That'd be good. But okay. So next episode we will clean up the last of the deep water guard, and we will find out the boggle of the twin blade. I think that's what they're called. Okay. Till next time. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.